Introducing the Ultralox Systems. Bandit first introduced this revolutionary system in 1995. Bandit designed the strongest band clamp system ever produced in a portable tool. We have two different versions. One is the Ultralock 4000C cordless. The other is the Ultralock 9010 corded version. Before we break into the operations, let's go over the components. On every one of the tool heads, you'll find a serial number of the tool. Moving on to the head of the tool, we have our slotted entrance for clamp insertion. We have our cutoff handle. Running down the middle of here is a tension screw with the gripper guide where you can find the gripper which tensions the band. Moving back to the drill components on the UL9010, we have our speed control which comes with the factory setting four and the factory setting E for the torque setting. On the side you have your reverse and forward and you have your trigger. On the UL4000C, the head will be similar to UL9010. What differs is the drill components. We have our speed setting one and speed setting two. Comes with our torque setting set to 25. Bandit has produced two different designs for the ultralock clamps. One design is the preformed version, and then another is the free end clamp. Both versions will incorporate the smooth inside diameter, which gives 360 degrees of contact along the application. Bandit's ultralock preform clamp ranges from an inch and a half to a nine inch ID. Anything smaller should use a half inch width clamp. In our free end clamp, since it's typically for any applications larger than a nine inch OD. Let's make a clamp using our free end ultralock clamps. First thing we're gonna do is break off an ultralock free end band from the roll. We're gonna pull it out until we see the seam of the next clamp and bend it over until it breaks. Now that we have our clamp broken off, we want to attach the buckle to the clamp. In order to do so, what you want to do is slide the buckle into the band with the indented arrows pointed in the same direction and the same side up. We're going to slide it down the band until it stops in between the two dimples at the opposite end of the free end clamp. So we went over the tool components of the tool head and drill. We covered how to make a clamp when you're working with the free end versions, if you're not using the preform clamp. Now let's install a clamp. Here I have the Ultralock 9010 hose assembly and some preform Ultralock clamps. The holes I have pre-marked for clamp placement depending on the shank design. This shank has two high-rise barbs and so I'm placing them right in between the two high-rise barbs. Next, I'm gonna take the tool. Make sure that your sliding block here is all the way at the nose of the tool before you insert the clamp. So what I'm gonna do is push that sliding block forward. And I'm gonna reverse the drill into a clockwise position. With the cutoff handle facing down, we want to insert the clamp tail into the head of the tool. Push the, the tool all the way until it touches the nose of that buckle. Now we're ready to install our clamp. Make sure when you're triggering the tool that you hold it down rather than feathering until the tool clutches out. It has a built-in clutch. It will stop once it acquired the correct amount of tension. Now you heard the tool stop, we want to proceed to the cutoff. You want to just push forward with a strong hard stroke. Now that we have our clamp installed, we want to make sure that we complete it by locking it in place. In order to do so, you need to hammer down on the buckle shroud. The last step is to remove the remaining clamp tail from within the tool head. In order to do so, we want to push the sliding block all the way forward until it meets the nose of the tool in order for the gripper to release the clamp tail. In order to do so, you want to reverse the drill. Hold the trigger and let the clamp tail push out the nose of the tool and remove the clamp tail. Good. Now we're ready for our next clamp installation. The Ultra Lock Clamps, promoted for strength, speed, and integrity. The bands are constructed with a tempered high tensile type 201 stainless steel. This material is 25% stronger than any other band clamp material on the marketplace. The ultralock buckle is constructed with a 0.094 inch thick type 201 stainless steel. The heaviest, strongest stainless steel in the industry, assuring that the clamp forces achieved are positively locked in place. 